All right, guys. Welcome to enjoy the ride. We are headed to Fortify Detail Labs in Mandeville, Louisiana. We're gonna to talk to Wes about possibly doing a wrap on the 2022 Tundra. First of all, we're gonna get rid of that ugly chrome on the front. No offense to the chrome lovers. I let it stay on there for long enough, but I'm about to go on a honeymoon and I'll be out of the area for about a week. That should be enough time to get this truck in and out. So it'll get a nice detail after that little trip in the mud. And it will also hopefully look a lot better than it does now. And the added benefit of protection from tree branches, etc., for when I do eventually take it out into the wilderness. But I'm gonna possibly need your guys' help on choosing a color, trim, whether I would just want to do a matte white or if I want to do a whole other color, but we'll have some good options. Let's go check it out. That's a really awesome street name. Merca. Your destination is on the left. Here it is, we're pulling up. Fortify Labs detail shop. There he is, there's the man. That's Wes, I think. Sweet. All right, guys, I'm here with Wes at Fortify Detail Labs uh, in Mandeville, Louisiana, and we're look, looking at a few wraps. We just, we just looked at some colors, and um, he was telling me how PPF is really strong, and it, when it warps, it comes back, and it lasts a lot longer. So if you wanna go ahead for the viewers and you know, yeah. do a little demonstration, that'd be awesome. So this is a black vinyl a gloss black vinyl and what we were doing is we were stretching it trying to get a feel for exactly how it felt whether it returns back to its position the thickness and elasticity of the film because that's what's really going to determine whether or not it's going to stand up to rock chips and more serious abuse so that was the vinyl it looks good and this is the paint protection film right here so we can do the same thing the same stretch and when we release it it snaps back to shape very quickly you can lay it down and you'll be able to see that it's back to the same size we cut, and that's the vinyl. So, you know, there's different price points, but, and, and there's a lot more variability in terms of color. You have a lot more choices. You have a lot more matte choices, metallic choices when you're choosing vinyl. Uh, there's a very limited selection of paint protection film out there. And I'm looking at these color swatches, one's Avery and one's 3M, and I kind of picked out two colors that I really like. And Wes told me that I could still, um, get another uh, TRD 4x4 sticker and put it on the outside of the um, vinyl wrap. So right. you guys tell me, this is pistachio, which I love. I absolutely love it. And then this is gloss storm gray. This is very similar to um, some of the colors, I think Lunar Rock that Toyota offers already. Um, so a lot of people might confuse it with that if I wrap it in this color, but this is very unique. And I just, it just makes me happy. So you guys let me know. I'm gonna go with what you guys choose. I'm gonna put a poll on um, the channel. Um, pick this one if you like me and if pick that one if you don't. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> All, right. All right, so this is the process. Wes is gonna walk around the truck and he's gonna estimate sizes and amount of material that he needs. So what do you think about the chrome on the back bumper? That. What do you think about the chrome on the back bumper? Should we wrap it black? Well, I or I haven't seen this exact kind of chrome on the truck, but if you're that may be that may be steel, not chrome. Uh, mm. That's the main thing. But I mean, if we're getting rid of chrome on the front, 
suggested on the back. You guys tell me what you think. Should we get rid of the chrome on the back too? I think we should. I think it makes sense. Yeah. I'm not seeing any chrome from this side of the vehicle. Right. So, you know, your badges are already, are already black. Right. And even the tops of the door handles are gloss black, which is interesting. Yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah. There's already vinyl wrap here. This is probably vinyl. This is probably a factory vinyl option or, huh. or not, but I guarantee you if you take this off, you'll find white paint underneath. Wow. Yes. <laughs> I bet you that's something that most people didn't know. I had no idea. So you could look at replacing this badge with something, you could go with a matte black or a gloss black. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure we could easily replace that for you. Alternatively, plastic dip, which is like a liquid um, thing. Racks don't work for things like this, but you know, a simple liquid, it's very like plastic dip is good plastic. I'm excited. And this thing yeah, looks really looks clean too. It does. It looks, I think it would look good on the truck. Yeah, I'm leaning towards this one, guys. All right, now it's time to back this puppy out. Let's see. He's gonna help me. All right. So keep going, keep going, we're good. We're good on this side. And we're good on that side. Oh, we got plenty of space. We're good. All right, so we're gonna leave. Wes is gonna shoot me a quote, and we're gonna go from there. See you guys later. And if you live in the Gulf South, and you need some paint protection film, or you wanna change the color on your vehicle, go to fortifieddetaillabs.com and contact Wes. He'll take good care of you, and he's good people.